In the previous video, we have talked a bit about the open close principle. Now, let's go to our scripts folder and open up our player AI interaction script. Great. Now, what we can see here is in our interact, we are drawing a raycast, shooting a raycast using the physics 2D engine. And upon the collision, we are checking what type of component is the NPC, so the target of our, uh, of our uh, raycast. And we can see that if we have added another uh, NPC type, we would have to add another else if statement here in this class, and each and every new NPC would add a new if else clause. So this isn't a good solution. This isn't op uh, open closed principle uh, friendly. Since what we would like to do is create a simple NPC class that would be an abstract class that would have, for example, interact method, and then NPC enemy and NPC friendly would extend this, and we would make sure then that our player AI interactions could call this abstract class dot interact, and that would be it. It wouldn't matter for it if there is 10 or 20 different NPCs, it could interact with any of them unless they are not extending the NPC abstract class. So let's implement this solution for this class to make it more closed for ex the modifications, but open for extensions so every new enemy would still work here. What we are going to do is go back to Unity. Great. Let's create a new C Sharp class. Cre uh, right click create C Sharp and let's call it NPC. Okay, let's open it up. And also make sure that you have NPC enemy opened up as well. Great. I'm going to again split the screen between the NPC and NPC enemy. And NPC will be an abstract class. So let's say public abstract class NPC. It will be a model behavior. I'm going to delete everything from this class. And since this will be the base class for our NPC enemy, it could have any uh, functionality that NPC enemy and NPC friendly would have, meaning the, the audio source could be here, the uh, Unity event, so let's copy those or extract those, Control X, Control V, to paste them into the NPC. The text is unique to every NPC, and we have this get hit. Instead, let's create a, in the NPC, uh, we need to alt enter on this Unity event to import using Unity engine.events. And we are going to create public virtual. Let's call it void interact. And we are going to fill it in with this on speak event and audio source play. Okay. And that's basically it. What we can do is get access to the audio source through the, for example, awake. So let's create awake function and let's get audio source equals get component of type audio source okay and we have an issue with the text so maybe instead let's create a, a private virtual string get text we are not uh, we are going to simply return here an empty string and we need to make it into private uh, protected so that children of this class will be able to access it. And instead in the interact we are going to call get text instead of the text, uh, directly accessing the text parameter. So now we have created this abstract class and called NPC. So let's make sure that we extend this class inside our NPC enemy. So let's just, instead of uh, mobile, uh, mono behavior, extend the NPC. And we can see that we, are, we have this get hit. Instead we want to create override and override we have a couple of methods. What we want to override is interact. And when we interact, uh, we want to get the find object of type player and paste it into the interact. Let's delete the get hit. And what we want to override is override our get text. And we want to return our text that is saved in our NPC enemy. Okay. That's it for our enemy. Let's open up our NPC friendly. I have it open in Visual Studio. Okay, and we can close the NPC. Now, what we can do with the NPC friendly is again, extend the NPC instead of the mono behavior. 
and we want to delete the unit event and audio source, delete the talk because we do not need it. What we will want to do is override again the interact. And basically, we do not need to override it because we have no extra functionality added. It. So let's delete it. And we are going to override only the get text where we are going to return our text. Okay. And of course, we could extract the text to be also in the NPC. But since we have this text written down here in the uh, as the string for our NPC friendly, we would have to expose it in the editor and paste it there. So I'm going to go uh, with an easy way and leave it this text parameter in every class. But basically, we could also put it inside our NPC. Okay, so save it. And let's go back to our player AR interactions. I have it opened in Visual Studio. Okay. And we can see that now there are some errors here. So when we are hitting the collider, what we want to do is we want to get an NPC instead of the concrete NPC enemy NPC friendly. And if we have this collider, we are going to simply call the same line or we could extract it as the parameter and we would call NPC dot interact. And that would be it. So now we can interact with any NPC that we have. So any NPC that extends the base class NPC, we can interact with. So let's save it. Control Shift S to save all the scripts. Let's go back to Unity. Okay. Let's take a look at our enemy NPC enemy, and we can see that it has NPC uh, enemy script, and it all is filled up. So that's great. What we can do is press play, and let's see if it all works. Let's walk towards this grandpa, and you can see that it all works, but now we can introduce another NPC, and it will work as well unless it doesn't extend this NPC. In the next video, we will shortly discuss the Liskov substitution principle. See you in the next video.